So today, I just really decided how much damage can I do to an enemy with burn alone. And that pretty much started off a huge course of events and a huge amount of gear changes. Now, obviously on the channel, I am a huge fan of usability. I mean, that is pretty much the most important aspect of a build, how usable it is in combat. So I went with one of the most usable burn ideas that I could think of, and that was basically just a four-piece Eclipse Protocol with a Golan Gear Mask and BTSU gloves. Of course, no status effect build would be complete without Perpetuation or Spike. Now, I know somebody in the comment section is going to tell me, you know, the, the Artificer Hive will work while it's on your back and it'll buff your, your Seeker or whatever. The issue is I'm using the BTSU gloves and I need to destroy it to actually get this to proc. So I am throwing it to the side. As you can see here, I am hitting for some really nasty damage. Over 600k damage per tick. But when I saw that, I really started to wonder how much damage could I actually get from burn? I, I don't care if it's useful or not. I just want to know how much damage could I get per tick from burn? So I basically tried to you know redo some things. I decided that I probably wasn't going to get it from Eclipse Protocol. So I definitely needed to go with an all yellow high end build. Obviously this is because I can roll both status effect and skill damage on my actual gear pieces. Also what this allowed me to do was get the talents glass cannon and combined arms, which basically just gives me amplified damage and total damage. So those are huge increases. Now it's really nothing special. It's just a single piece of Golan gear, two pieces of Wyvern wear, and then two pieces of Hanayu. Obviously that gives me the skill haste, the skill damage, and the status effects. The one weak point obviously still being the BTSU gloves because they don't have any of those stats. They just have you know, skill haste and repair skills, but I'm counting on that overcharge to basically just provide more benefit than detriment to the build. And of course, with my hive, I am getting that 70% buff still. And so overcharge 70% buff and all that damage that I'm adding. So again, you can see here hitting for massive damage this time. I'm hitting for over 960 K per tick. But at this point I was so close to 1 million. I just, I, I couldn't, I couldn't stop. You know, I was like, I need to hit 1 million, whatever it takes. I spent pretty much all my resources trying to craft better pieces, trying to craft you know, little improvements, just trying to get everything to exactly where it needed to be. But what I also did was change my everlasting gaze. My first one had damage to health. This one in my stash had damage to armor, perfect roll of damaged armor. So I knew that obviously my skills do extra damage with damage to armor against armor. So I was hoping, you know, this would provide that last little bit of push to get me that 1 million damage. So again, I procced everything and yes, I did hit for 1 million damage against the armor, but it was very brief, very short period of time of actually 1 million. And once it went to health, it was no longer a million. And I felt like I didn't quite succeed at hitting that 1 million mark. So I had to go back. I had to figure out something else. This time I went with the mechanical animal and that's pretty much just so I can try to get that future perfection. Now with future perfection, basically since I'm already at skill tier six, all I need to do is get one kill and I get overcharge. Now, this being a skill build, I don't really quite feel that Mechanical Animal is the best choice in a real world situation just because, you know, a skill build on higher difficulty trying to get a gun kill doesn't work too well. But obviously, I'm just trying to hit max damage, and that's it. I'm trying to hit as high of a damage as I can get. So, now that I've got Mechanical Animal, I'm replacing my BTSU gloves with just another pair of Hanayu, but this time I'm adding skill damage and status effects. So now that I've got a different source of my overcharge, I've got more status effect damage and more skill damage with the only negative spot still being my Hanayu backpack. It has skill haste instead of status effect, which there's nothing I can really do about that. That is probably one of the biggest unicorns, you know, trying to get perfect rolls on status effect skill damage. And you know, just, it, it just, it just doesn't work too well. There's probably better options, but this is the best thing that I could reasonably get today. Who knows how long it'll be if I want to actually try to get a better roll. So I activated my mechanical animal, got that overcharge, you know, had the buff on my, my seeker mine, activated my perpetuation, my combined arms, and I hit for over 1 million damage. I hit for 1,098,727 on armor, but I also hit over 1 million on health. I hit for 1,036,535 damage with my burn on health. So while it may not be an actual practical build for real gameplay, it is nice to know that you can hit for over 1 million damage with burn. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.